So a coffee shop currently sells 320 lattes a day at 275 each. They recently tried raising their price by 25 cents a latte and found that they sold 30 less lattes a day. So we're going to start out by assuming that the number of lattes they sell in a day, n, is linearly related, linearly related to the sale price, p, in dollars. Find an equation for n as a function of p, which tells me that we're going to use p as our input and n as our output. Uh, so let's read the problem and see what we can figure out. We know that we're currently selling 320 lattes a day, which is a number, n, number of lattes, at, at a price of $2.75. They recently tri tried raising their price by 25 cents a latte, which means they tried raising the price to $3. They found that they sold 30 less lattes in a day, so 30 less would be 290. So what I have here is two input and output pairs, and that's going to let me find a linear equation, because remember, a linear equation looks like m x plus b if x is our input. In this case, it'd be m p plus b, because because p is our input, where m is the slope and b is the initial value or intercept. So let's go ahead and start by finding our slope. Our slope is going to be the difference of the outputs divided by the difference of the inputs. So that is, let's hear, minus 30 over 0.25. Now you might notice that we could have actually pulled this information out up here. They tried raising the price by 25 cents, and they sold 30 less lattes in a day. Uh, so we could have actually skipped this step, if you had noticed, but, uh, this works just fine, too. And so that gives us a negative 120 as our slope. So now we have n of p equals negative 120 p plus b, and now we need to find our intercept. And to do that, we're going to take one of these points and plug it in for n and p. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one, because the 3 is such a pretty number. So I'm going to say 290 equals negative 120 times 3 plus b. So 290 is negative 360 plus b, and that tells me that b is... is 650. So putting that all together, we have a slope of 120, a b of 650 tells me my equation is n of p equals negative 120p plus 650. And that's the first step in solving this problem. So next, uh, revenue, we're told, uh, the amount of money that the store brings in before costs, can be found by, can be found by, uh, multiplying the cost per cup times the number of cups sold. In other words, revenue equals, uh, cost per cup, cup, times number of cups. Makes sense, right? Uh, if I sell each cup for three dollars and I sell ten cups, I'm gonna make thirty dollars. Right? We multiply the cost per cup times the number of cups. Okay, so again, using p as the sales price, use our equation from above. Okay, so our equation from above was n of p equals negative 120p plus 650 to write an equation for revenue as a function of... So revenue as a function of p. Well, let's see here. What is the cost per cup? Well, the cost per cup is p. It's the sales price. So the cost per cup is just p. How many cups are we going to sell? Well, that's where this comes in. This equation told me that if my price is p, this is how many cups I should expect to sell. And so negative 120p plus 650 is my expected number of cups I'm going to sell. If we want to now, we can say my revenue as a function of p is, let's go ahead and distribute here, is negative 120 p squared 
plus 650p. And that is a nice quadratic. So taking that now, we can ask the question, the store wants to maximize their revenue, make as much money as possible. Find the value of p that will maximize the revenue. So we have that revenue as a function of p is negative 120p plus 650p. And if we think about what that's going to look like as a graph, uh, notice that my, oops, p squared, sorry. Notice that my intercept value is 0, so we're going to start here at the, uh, with a, uh, when p is 0, my revenue is 0. Makes sense. No price, no, make no money. This tells me that we start out increasing, and the negative here tells me that this is a downwards opening parabola, and so I would expect this to look something like, pardon my horrible drawing skills here, something like that. So where will that maximum revenue occur? It's going to happen right there. And what do we call that? That is the vertex of this parabola. And so we can find the, let's see here, what's along the horizontal here? P is along the horizontal, revenue along the vertical. And so we can find the P coordinate of the vertex, right? This is just like an X coordinate, except instead of X, we're using P. The P coordinate of the vertex would be negative B over 2A, right? Where we're talking about the equation AX squared plus BX plus C, or something, uh, you know, obviously with P's here and revenue there, but, right, the B is the coefficient on the linear term, and A is the coefficient on the quadratic term. So in this case, negative B is going to be negative 650 over 2 times a, and a is 120. So we've got 650 over 240 comes out to about $2.71 as the price that will give us the maximum revenue. If we wanted to know what that maximum revenue was, we could go ahead and plug $2.71 back into our equation. So $2.71 squared plus 650 times $2.71. And, and we come up with a maximum revenue of about, about $880.21. So $880.21 as the maximum revenue.